Welcome back to my channel. Just kidding, that was cringy. I don't know how to start these things. Anyway, I'm in my bathroom currently. I think one of my roommates is sleeping, the other one's downstairs. Um, It looks peaceful in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna make this video in here. Anyway, yes, I'm sitting in my bathtub. I'm making a Q and A and a bunch of people actually ended up sending in some good ass questions. So I have them on my iCloud on my computer because I have to use my phone to record this video. And I'm not that technologically advanced. So I was like, hey, if I just go on my iCloud online and just like pull up my pictures, I can read the questions. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna jump right into the video. So I went on my Snapchat and my Instagram and I asked people to just ask me anything. I just, I've always thought these like Q and A videos have been like, I don't know, cool if you give a shit, you know? Here we go. Okay. First question. My friend texted me. Okay. Okay. First question. What's your favorite slash least favorite zodiac sign? Um. <laughs> so my favorite zodiac sign so i'm a scorpio the closest people in my life are virgos like i've had the most like good interactions with virgos and scorpios so like i get along with scorpios and virgos really well um but my boyfriend's a pisces and my brother's a pisces i feel like i know oh my grandpa no my grandpa's a virgo my grandma's not a pisces my grandma is a Taurus. I would say my favorite is probably Virgo just because like I have a lot of Virgos in my life and we all get along really well. I don't want to say my least favorite zodiac sign, but Okay, next question. Would you rather be a mountain or a river? I would definitely be a river because I like water better, so it just sounds more fun to be a river than a mountain. My favorite horror movie. Ooh. I love Halloween and scary things. Um, my favorite horror movie. I watched, surprisingly, I watched Silence of the Lambs recently. I, like last Halloween maybe? I don't know. I watched it in 2020 and that is my favorite horror movie right now. I feel like there's another, Heredity is really good. Um, yeah, I guess I would just say Silence of the Lambs. That's a really good movie. Um, this person says, what is your favorite fast food? I love fast food. I would say cookout and McDonald's for sure. Um, are you studying? No, I dropped out of college. I went to a university for a semester. I freaking hated it. So then I went to my like local community college, went for like three semesters and was like, screw this, school is not for me. Like I'm leaving, so. Do you like basketball or football? Um, I hate basketball, honestly. Um, I don't prefer football, but like, I would much rather watch football over basketball any day. Have you been to Las Vegas? If so, what is your favorite part of it? I have not been to Las Vegas. I mean, I've never really had a strong urge to go. I mean, I think it would be fun, but like, especially not right now with all this Corona stuff happening. But I mean, I see, I don't really like getting drunk. Like, I like drinking, but like, getting drunk, if I get drunk, it was an accident, so. I don't really like, I don't know, in gambling, I don't want to get into that, that's just not my thing. I mean, it would, be, it would probably be fun if I went, you know, but like, I've never been like, I really want to go to Vegas. This person asked, I don't even know the question, but literally anything about your Rapunzel hair. 
I'll make a separate video on my hair because I've been wanting to do that because every day I get asked, how do you get your hair so long? The last time I measured it, it was like 28 inches, I think, but it might be longer now, but I mean, I, I trim it to keep it healthy, but it looks kind of scraggly because my hair gets tangled like all the time. But next question, how did you develop your style and aesthetic? Um, I didn't purposely do that. I don't know. I don't know what my ass. I, I didn't purposely do that. I don't know what my aesthetic is. Um, I just like a bunch of different stuff and I don't care what people think about me. So I just kind of go for it and just do my thing. But I, I mean, I don't know what my aesthetic is. Like, I, I, I don't know what I'm like to other people, but that's my answer. How are you dealing with anxiety? I stopped smoking nicotine. That has helped tremendously. Um, that was my New Year's resolution was to stop smoking nicotine. And it was very, 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 very hard. And it's only been like 19 days. Still kind of hard, but I found a bunch of tips and tricks to help me deal with it. So I, I'm i proud of myself to say the least because this is the longest I've gone without smoking nicotine. But I would definitely say that helps a ton. Don't smoke nicotine, it's not good for you and it makes you very anxious. So that's what I would say. Next question, what would you do with a million dollars? I would invest it to make more money so that my money would keep making money for me. So like I wouldn't have to worry about it running out. I would also, I would, I would help my family and I would wanna help other like people. Like I don't, wouldn't, charities sketch me out sometimes cause I feel like the money's not actually going to what it should be going to sometimes. But I would definitely want to help other people, especially people that don't have money because I just know how hard it is. I mean, I'm still not like successful or anything, but I just know how hard it is to like worry about money and finances. So I would definitely want to try to help other people. Do you believe you are a star seed slash have you heard of them? Okay, so I have heard of star seeds, but like I'm not 100% positive. I would have to like look them up more. I know it has something to do with like an old soul and like something. I mean, I I def I don't I don't know. I guess that's a that's a good. I'm gonna Google it. Hang on. Star seeds are highly evolved, gifted souls who originate from the universe. Various star systems or faraway galaxies and have taken human form here on earth, not knowing their true origin. I don't think I'm special enough to be a star seed after reading that, so no. Um, these souls are highly attuned and have incarnated on earth for a special purpose unique to each of them. I mean, sometimes I feel like, I mean, I feel like there's a reason everyone's here I mean, no, not everybody has to agree with that, which is like completely fine, but I just feel like we're all here to make, I don't know. I feel like I'm here to make other people's lives better in some way, shape or form. That's what I feel like my purpose is. Like, I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm not here for myself. I'm here for other people, so. So no, I don't think I'm a star seed. 20 signs, you're a star, wait, what? Star seeds, what is a star seed? Plus 20 signs that you are one. Star seed chick. <laughs> On everything, I thought that just says star seed chicken. It says star seed children. In order to get in contact with your guardian angel and receive your free angel reading, please fill out this form. No. Ooh, okay, let's see. 20 signs you're a star seed. Being a child, you cannot fit into society. Being on earth, you feel a strong urge to want to go home. 
having been experienced paranormal activities as a young age. Empathetic nature and feeling emotions as well as your own. To know what the other person is going to say in the conversation. Hmm. Ooh, young kids fascinate you. Nope. I do not like children. I mean, I don't think I'm a star seed, but I mean, I have a lot of these traits, I guess. But I don't, I'm not special enough to be a star seed. That's what I'm sure. What are your biggest tips for getting started as a model? Uh, I'm not a model. I'm never, I mean, there was a point a couple years ago where I like wanted to be a model. Like I didn't want to go to school and I was like, whatever modeling sounds fun. Like you get to dress up and take pictures and hang out with people. But I'm not, I'm definitely not a model. So I can't answer that question because I have no idea. That'd be cool if I was a model though, but I'm not. Where were you five years ago and where do you hope to be five years from now? Five years ago, I was in high school. Um, I was a senior, I think. Either that or I was in college, my first year of college, I don't know. Where do I wanna be five years from now? I wanna be financially independent, son. I wanna be able to travel when I want. I don't wanna to have to request off to travel and save up money. I just wanna be able to be like, oh, I wanna to go to the Bahamas, boom. Let's go, that's what I want. It makes me sad because I'm like, will I ever get that? And then I'm like, I'm not gonna let myself work a nine to five for the rest of my life, so no thank you. But you know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> This person said, there's a noise outside my house, almost like a groaning. Do I go out and look? No. No, you don't. Next question. Why can't apples be compared to oranges, little dicky? They're not the same. They're both circular, but they're not the same. So you can't. They're different. So these are the last two questions, I'm pretty sure. So this person asked, these are deep, these are deep questions. This person asked, what would be your final request on your deathbed? Mm. That makes me emotional. What would be my final request on my deathbed? I don't have one, I'm just thinking of like the people that I love. I wouldn't want anything. I would just, I don't know, that's hard. What would your, be your final request on your deathbed? I guess just for like everybody I love to be there with me. That's so sad, that makes me emotional. I, yeah, yeah. That's what my request would be. Last question. What was a life-changing event that formed you to who you are today? Um, I definitely know the answer, but I feel like I shouldn't really talk about it too, too much. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Some stuff happened with my family financially when I was like eight years old and it like made me realize like, hey, you really can lose everything even if you have it. Like, if you think you have like a good, you know, foundation, you know? So that kind of just like scarred me to like hoard money. Cause I'm, I'm like always prepared, like if something happens. So that is definitely a life changing event that definitely formed me into the person I am today. So I'm editing this video and I got to this question again and I was really thinking about it more because what I went through that, cause it sounded like it only changed me in like how to deal with things financially, but it really opens your eyes to other things. Like material shit is fucking stupid and that shit doesn't matter. Like 
I don't give a fuck about money. I just want to be able to like be comfortable and like have a good life because that shit like really changed the way I see things. Cause like, what is happening? Oh, my neighbor's sawing something. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It just really going through that changed me into who I am today just because I realized a lot of stuff doesn't matter that people think matters and it doesn't I mean everybody needs money but like designer stuff and like nice things like that's not what's important and I learned that and have always like felt that way so that situation definitely made me have that mindset, so. I'm trying to think of anything else. So people are very shitty. It's not like a life-changing event. Like what I said the first time would have been like a life-changing event, but like, just like living day by day and just realizing how like terrible some people can be makes me like wanna be like better and nicer just because like, People are terrible and I just really wish there was like less shitty people in the world, but like people are mean, especially being a waitress, like people are ruthless and mean. But yeah, so I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. That's the answers to all my questions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for my next video. I'm trying to post more, but like, Comment what videos you would want to see me make because I only have so many ideas and you guys are the ones watching them. So let me know. But comment, like, subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.